everyone and welcome to XX Mal Potato Kitchen! Today we are making my friend's Brigitte salsa. Um, so you're gonna need, in our recipe, she asked for red onions, garlic, jalapeno and serrano if you want more spicy. I didn't find any so I only use jalapeno. Uh, tomatoes, coriander and some vegetable chicken stock or lemon or lime juice. I've added lime juice, but I like a thick salsa. So if you like a more runny salsa, you could also add some stock chicken or vegetable up to your choice. So the first step is um, to char most of the vegetable. You char everything except for the coriander and the lime. So put everything either in non sticking pan on the stove or in the oven at like 450 uh it took me about 20 to 40 minutes 20 minutes for the veggies and like 40 minutes for the tomato and you want to leave the garlic skin on so that the garlic doesn't stick and burn uh i've put everything in there uh, roughly chopped them uh i did this recipe twice the second time i roasted them in the pan and kept the jalapeno seeds that time i removed it and i thought it wasn't spicy to my taste so the second time I did it, I kept the jalapeno seed and it was perfect. So here I just roughly chopped the tomato. They're going to be blended afterwards, so I didn't really care. Um, so remove the core, put that in the pan, drizzle some oil on it, and put that in the oven at 450. Or uh, the second time I did it, I put the oven at 450 with only the tomato. And the other veggie, I pan roasted them and it was a little bit quicker, but the tomatoes still took as long. So I didn't change much. I would say watch them every five to 10 minutes, making sure that they don't burn and turn them around so that they char on every side. While it's cooking, I prepped my cilantro. Um, I cut it small just to add in the thing. Uh, again, roughly because anyway, uh, it's all gonna be blended at the end. Um, recipe calls for like six to eight um, twigs. I did the half of a bouquet that I add. Um, again, rough chop, it's gonna be blended anyway. I kept some for the nachos that I'm making with this after. So I put half in here and I was like, that's a lot, so I'm not gonna put more. <laughs> put everything else on the side. Uh, then I took the juice of one lime and just to bring up some more acidity because who doesn't like a little bit of like tangy into a salsa that's that's good so one lime juice and I love this I love this lime squeezer thing for lemon and lime I think it extracts most of the juice and it prevents the seed from falling down so highly recommend gadget thing for lime and lemon um, and yeah I recommend it so once all of the veggies are cooked and ready and charred uh, as you can see my tomato weren't that charred but I was hungry so I removed them but you can make them char a little bit more and um, you can also keep the tomato fresh if you want a more like fresh tomato taste that's really good as well uh, once everything is ready, you peel the garlic. Be careful, it's really hot. Um, you peel the garlic, put everything into the blender. I ended up putting all those jalapeno into the mix and the tomato. Also, put the tomato juice, it's flavor. Peel the garlic, put the tomato, blend that up. I didn't have enough liquid, even with the tomato juice, so I added the lime juice there. Once it was all smooth to my taste, I removed it and put it into a container to keep it in the fridge. Um, and you can keep that in the fridge for a few days, a few weeks, up to you. I would say eat it as fast as you can so that you don't waste it. But yeah, it was good. And here, you see I added everything back in. Uh, salt, pepper to your taste, any other spices you may like in it. Now. Let's make some nachos with it. Uh, you start with some tortilla chips. These are all the ingredients that I decided to use. 
I have some queso, some cheese, some cilantro, a second type of cheese, a third type of cheese. Because who do have enough cheese and nachos? No one. And I also added some uh, corn and onions that I had cooked the other day for another recipe. So I started by layering the corn and onion. There were It was grilled corn and onion that I had. Uh, so queso. I put a little bit of salsa just to have some taste already on the chips, but I didn't put too much because I didn't want the chips to get soggy. Some parmesan, some mozzarella, some chopped cheddar, another layer of chips. I don't put a lot of cheese in between the layer because I know it's mostly going to get lost. I put most of it on top. I make sure that the chips don't get too in the air because so, they're, they're going to burn. More corn and onion. And you put whatever veggie you have. You can put pepper, you can put onions, you can put uh, mushrooms, you can put anything you want. You can put fresh jalapeno on top of that. It's really up to you. And then more queso, generous amount of everything. Um, you can even put meat if you like, some chicken. It's really up to you. Um, I like it like this. It was really good. Queso, some more cheese, some more salsa. And you put that in the oven uh 400 degree for like 20 ish minute once you see that all the cheese is melted you can uh, turn that off and put it to boil boil instead so that it cooks a little bit faster and yeah that's what it looked like i was really pleased with it it was really tasty um here's the recipe for the salsa i'm not putting the recipe for the nachos because it's Self-explanatory. You do whatever you want, you put whatever you like, and you can add sour cream after, whatever you like. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching this video, everyone. I hope you liked it. It is really tasty. Um, I will have another video next week. I have no idea when I'm going to be back streaming. Um, I will try and make up a schedule for you guys, but... I may just stream whenever it works for me. So I'll see you guys next week with another video. In the meantime, you can come and chat with me on Discord. I'm also active on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. And yeah, that's pretty much that. So I'll see you guys next week. Make sure to subscribe to my coffee to have the recipe prior to my video on YouTube. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.